Hello everyone, welcome to Healthy Tuesday. On Your View, I am Moriah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hi ladies. Hi Mo. Hi. Nima, I was going to say Jumzo. Hi Mo. Okay. Hi Nima. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> but I like your hijab with hey, the lead. The Hijabs are getting very, the very low. Creative. Please don't kill me, your hijab with your uh, necklace. Let me just quickly attack you. Shebi, they say you people should not mm -hmm. have bejeweling. You're supposed to dress down, dull colors, gray, black. So you are not attractive. Alaja, you are very Modest attractive. Modest fashion is taking over, if you've not noticed. <laughs> <laughs> should I start to list their names? <laughs> but, uh, Bosch Don't Designs, all of us, they're, they're, go, they're you. just taking over. Have they paid you? All these my sisters that are styling me. Uh, all of you should start coming. Don't worry. I like it. But Bello, yeah, like Bello has been there for a while. She gives me all my, those pins you see around yeah, me. Yeah, she likes yeah. to, she just sent me a complimentary package. And this one I got in Unilad when I went for the... I like the way you have dressed it nicely, formally with your jacket yeah. on it. So this is know? supposed to be for a jacket, yes. Mm, so it's a small hijab, supposed to be tucked in. I don't nice know about one. the shoes. It comes though. with a necklace. But you're okay. And the shoe is to break it. <laughs> like Jennifer. I use it to break it. How are you doing? So I'm now? very grateful to God for life. I'm I... grateful to God for my journey as a mother. Yeah. Yesterday we went for registration and my little champ is getting into school. Yeah. yeah we'll be turning to as soon as he's Congratulations, to mommy. Yes, so in fact, I felt so touched yes, looking at him. Cool. He, he thought school was about the games. He went to all the swings, everything. I said, okay. Yeah, let's see me. Cool. Uh, yeah, hello, let's move on to Mariam. How are you doing, Mariam? I'm doing good. Um, looking nice and bright today. Thank you. Um, so I had a good weekend. I mean, we talked about it, the um, acting that we've been rehearsing Black for. Black image, yes. Black image. And then um, my kids are back in school. Oh, really? So, How is yeah. that next week? Yeah, we are already back in school. So we're doing like the um, back to school shopping, shopping and everything, which is oh, good. It's sorry. good to have them. But you know what works, What happens is that when my children are back in school, it sort of gives me, usually when they're at home on holiday, I sort of start my day later than normal. But because they are back in school, we're so it gives me, yes, earlier. I wake up early and it just sort of helps my whole day, you wow, know. I don't cool. know if it works nice. like that for you just guys. Just aligns you. Mm -hmm. I don't like waking up early. <laughs> Neither do I. How are you doing, Jimoke? I'm amazing and I bring great news. So I went for a scheduled medical examination yesterday. And just because I wanted to tell the doctor everything, I said, sir, anytime I wake up these days, I have this small discomfort here. He says, have you done your kidney function this? I said, yeah, pa. <laughs> Sir, I, want to I don't want to be told. Immediately, <laughs> I went to the toilet to it. It just started laughing and it is fear. And honestly, I did it afraid, you know, because that's what we have learned to do. And when you do those things and the results come out and you're fine, there's no problem. It's like you're now born again, mm -hmm. you know. So I know that it is difficult for a lot of Nigerians to just, uh, my eye test is once in two years. My mm -hmm. dentist hey, is once, once in six months. In six months. Yeah. Uh, go and see a doctor every year. It may be difficult, but it's way cheaper than if you don't do a medical test and then they find something later in life. So I'm very grateful to God for life, for and great health and wealth. Fantastic. How are you for Mariah? Sorry? What are you grateful for? I'm thankful. I mean, <laughs> yesterday, something happened yesterday, which unfortunately, I've asked permission from the person that is involved. He has, the person has not given me permission to share <laughs> to yet. So I'm waiting for it. permission to share. I was going to post it on Facebook, but it happened. And I, it was an interesting situation. And I think a lot of women should learn from it mm -hmm. okay. because I found myself in that situation. And somehow God gave me a bit of wisdom, which I'm even surprised at myself. And I would like to share that story, but Oga has not permitted me to share. Yeah. So let me, once I get approval. Okay, so you will share. Yeah, you know, you've left us <laughs> ears itching. We're waiting yes, for uh, We're waiting for <laughs> the right, it's Tuesday. So much happening. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Right, let's start with the punch. Again, Buhari refuses to sign electoral bill, cites contradictions, errors by National Assembly as reasons. Hairdresser stabs neighbor to death for calling her shaku shaku. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Acting DSS boss bows to presidency, recalls redeployed officers. Nigeria external debt rises by $11.77 billion in three years. Restructuring should dominate 2019 polls, Christian Leader says. FG extends Lagos Ibadu Expressway project completion date to December 2019. And 
14 die as suspected has been attacked played to again. All right, obviously the human interest story goes first. Well, who has that story? So I read the story and it's a bit confusing. So two women, one claimed to have been um, suffered domestic abuse and then her, a mother-in-law, I don't know whose mother-in-law, I kept reading trying to find out whose mother-in-law exactly accommodated her. Obviously the victim's mother-in-law was my own uh, conclusion, accommodated her. But she came into the house with her own child and then they had this back and forth. You know, this local face my face, you kind of fight. They were always in fi fighting. And one of such um, occurrence, she claimed that the baby of the other woman, the deceased, was crying. And then she said, take care of your baby. And that one said, what's even wrong with you? And then they had a fist off. Fist off and she, that one said, uh, this shaku shaku Probably. woman. And Anyways, she based got on angry, that, she got her. angry, went inside and said, I'll show you what Shaku Shaku is, stabbed her. Now, the twist of the story is that she didn't die immediately. immediately. She died eventually Two weeks hospital. after, not uh -huh. in the hospital because they didn't do the proper thing. They didn't take her to the hospital. They took her to local minders to care for the wound. Wow. And then she stayed there, the wound got worse, so and then it got infected. Maybe uh, sepsis uh, stepped in, and then mm. it got bad, and then she died from really sepsis. Really That's the way I uh, see the story, but... Obviously, this woman will be um, charged for manslaughter or attempted mm. murder. Mm. Let's take the major headline again. Buhari refuses to sign the electoral bill. Um, okay, We're so... Really hoping he will sign that. Um, but the senior special assistant to the president on National Assembly Matters, Senator Ita mm. Enang, talking about um, the president's decline for... Um, assent to the 2018 Electoral Act, said, and I quote him, that um, the, the president's decision is because of drafting issues that remain unaddressed following the prior revisions to the bill. Remember, he declined in March. Yes. And he's saying that the constitution does not allow the president to amend any bill sent to him. So the um, parts of the bill that he, finds, that he finds um, inappropriate, that until the National Assembly amends that, the president is unable to. So what's taking so long? It, it, Why is the National Assembly taking so long to amend that? The National Assembly should take full responsibility for this uh, bill. Either they amend it or they veto, they, they, you veto know, they then do their two-third majority. Do, yeah. Veto is access and then, and then do the two-third and, and that pass mean? The So that they take full responsibility for whatever. Results, a whole bunch of things that are You see, Moraya, when, when, they are, when there are mischief like that in the law, you put it, you subject that law to a whole long uh, judicial process of uh, court actions to correct all right. the courts, you, you know, and the okay, president is trying to save them this. They should do what they are supposed let's to do. Let's move on now to, to the, the nation. Why APC opted for direct primary by Oshomale? Picture here of armed robbers in, um, arrested in the Abuja Kaduna um, way. CBM probed MTN banks for 30 months. China offers Nigeria and other African countries $60 billion for projects. Crisis rocks PDP over tickets for lawmakers. 11 killed, 12 injured in just attack. And Lagos to resident doctors. Shelf planned strike. Okay. I have the just story. Yes, Go ahead. I have that. So um, I actually heard this yesterday. A friend called me when um, the day after this happened. Um, so there's a village in Rayfield. Rayfield is well known. It's like in town. And um, people in uh, military fatigues in Hila's va um, van just drove through the streets, shooting at people. 11 people were killed, um, 12 other injured. And well, they said they, said they are suspected headsmen. Mm. They did that within five minutes right. and they left. No trace of them. So here mm. we are again, this just a few days it? after a, another killing happened in Foron, where a pastor and three kids right. and his wife were killed. killed. So right. really, I'm wondering who are the people that are gaining who are people that are profiting from all these killings it's because you kill one side and then the other side thinks is you know right. you, we we'll make also, it Christian or Muslim, we we'll make it Hausa or indigenous. What is this war about, yeah, really? It, I know it's frustrating, especially when it touches home, because I know you're from, from that area yeah. also. Let's take the major headline, headline. the so, APC opted for direct primaries. So the APC chairman, um, comrade Adams Oshomali, has come to defend himself. The reason he's asking for direct primaries is to boost internal democracy, where every registered member of the party is a delegate. And 
um, he, he believes in it, regardless of all the hula baloo all up the and other down. Party members have always complained that they don't participate. Just hear that, oh, XYZ is now the selected, mm -hmm. the anointed candidate. And they want to be part of that, that process too. And that strengthens the True. Democracy. If I know that, if I join APC today, it means that I, I, I have a say, I have a vote in determining who becomes the party's that candidate. I'll quickly then I'll quickly go and join. I'll quickly yeah. go and join. Yeah, I so, so. I, 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 we are in the democracy, like Mario said, to strengthen our democracy, we must. Uh, um, encourage this kind of yeah. thing. So the senators are actually in support of it. The presidency is, but the governors are those people that refuse to pay their salaries. The governors have their reasons. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to Daily Sun. Buhari rejects electronic results, transmission, and others. Uh, Ohaneze used one PDP over vice president's slot. Hmm. Abductors of Delta Catholic priests demand 15 million naira ransom. And federal government inaugurates anti grass panel sets up peace commission. All right, let's talk about the Ohaneze youth. So Ohaneze are saying to the PDP that they're a little disappointed that they, they're getting fillers, that the party is allotting the nice. vice presidential slot to the Southwest. Okay. They were hoping that they would get it. And they're saying that if they go ahead with this, so they're going to do everything to scuttle the PDP's ambitions for 2019. We're well, just warning them. I think yeah. it actually does make sense to have a... Southeastern vice president. I president's think Ohaneze should even be, you know, clamoring for, for presidency. For, 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 I mean, 20 president. years of our democracy, no Igbo president. The PDP it's not thing. about tribe, it's about competence. It's exactly but so I think that a competent we, we have enough and if Southeastern. We should galvanize behind. We have um, uh, Southeastern. And we do president have. Buhari should also consider because yes. you have Mr. Shibajo and he's done well in four years. So maybe yes. it's time for him to reconsider no. another vice no, president. No, that's a working ticket. Let's just leave that one for that one. But the Igbos should, uh, should rally around them, any of the Igbo candidates who they think is competent. We have Chike yeah. Uka we have yeah. Kezi Mogalu, they have enough competent So they should just people. rally around their own person. Kezi <laughs> Mogalu! <laughs> anyway, we're hoping to have them very soon. Very soon though, we need to discuss the pact. <laughs> Anyways. Come and unpack that pact for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we want him to be the selective president. Okay, moving on now to Vanguard. Oh, I keep... Yeah, why Buhari won't sign Electoral Act Amendment bills, this presidency. And picture here, hmm. very interesting picture, of our president, other African leaders, mm. and get the, the, the Chinese president right here. Mm. See here? So we are selling <laughs> ourselves. Right. We've told them, we are here for you. Whatever you want, we are here. You're yeah. right. Just Anyways, money. NPA reports gains of new oil cargo handling policy. DSS, I have that story safe, uh, whilst the presidency cancels postings. Hmm. PDP presidential ticket, old aspirants kick against preferential treatment for Atiku, Saraki, Tambo, and others. But political sons. Mm -hmm. Rule of law must be respected for justice sake, says CJN. Journalists are being detained two years for national security, says DSS. Can you imagine? My relationship with Tinubu prevented PDP from taking Lagos in 20, um, 2003. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so, say, if I remember, there was an issue with, uh, say, but they, they were putting him under pressure. According to him, the papers I read, I think, on Monday, Saying Abba Kiari, especially one of the members of the cabal in the presidency, yeah. were insisting that he must not reorganize the 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 DSS. The, DSS. The, the, the no, they organized the DSS, yeah. all the officials there that because he had actually reposted and redeployed some, and he said no, he should go back reverse to status quo, that nothing must be, everything must be, must go back to status quo until further notice, and unfortunately he was put under serious pressure to do that, and, not, uh, and that has now been as much as I was, I was advocate in the, in the independence of the um, secret service. DSS. I would also not forget that they are an employee of the executive. So these things work in tandem. I'm sure it's, and it's about security. He must be able to brief his, his principal about the decisions he's taking. But I then, wanted to quickly take the Abiri story. So okay. Abiri has sued, John Sabiri, the uh, journalist. journalist that was released recently, has sued for his fundamental right abuse. 200 million naira is what he's seeking. And the DSS came with their defense to quote, they quoted section 32 sub 3 of the Administration of, of Criminal Justice Act to say that they had issues that, they charged him on issues bordering on national security, and that's why they held him for two years. Hey! Now the act was charge, clear. Without charge, without bail. The act was Sorry. clear that the police officer involved is allowed to hold a suspect and consult with the Attorney General within reasonable time. Reasonable okay. time is what I want them to work, work with now. So they cannot come and tell us reasonable time will just yes. span to two years yes. or more. Mm -hmm. right. What they are trying to do now is use, use it to say it will span to two years or more. And I like his lawyer, he's asking the courts, which one is rule of law? Uh -huh. Which one is national security? Bow. This is the judgment we are waiting for to help us explain 
what are present issues that we've been yeah, So this is quite concerning. timely. Yes, Very that's what we are waiting for. Hopefully we get some. So hopefully, but, when but the government goes. Can pull it to rest. I mean, don't, we, don't pull out this case so, for anything is academic. Let's run quickly to the Nigerian Tribune. Protesters at APC Secretary demand direct primaries. Buari declines assent to electoral bills. Any other story we haven't picked up here? Eating red meat and cheese, good for your health. This Canadian good. scientist. Yeah. You know, they're telling us, stop eating red meat. Now, you see, these Oyimbos are very confused. No, no, no. They don't eat there. red meat. One means not eat red meat. We are they confused. Say, they say that they have been going back and forth, yes. But now, there are these researchers I in just Canada. Wanted, I think we missed that. I wanted us to quickly take this story. There's a, um, so, a strike that's supposed to have been taking place by the... Um, doctors here in Lagos State, mm. and the Lagos State is asking them not to. The doctors are saying that they need more hands. House officers and resident doctors need to be employed, but Lagos State hasn't done that. Okay. So Lagos State is asking them to be patient, please, okay. because the patients yeah, will away. be so uh, right, to be careful. Have to go and take, unfortunately. Okay. That's yes, all we can take on front page review. When we come back, we ask, African homes, home training, is it emotional abuse or real home training? And later, we discuss male paternity, no, male birth control. Does it exist? And what are the options men have? Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Please, please. Thanks for staying with us. So a Twitter user recently raised his view on home training and child abuse in Africa. His words, I still believe that we Africans raise children where most emotionally abused kids in the world. What, what we call home training is actually systematic or systemic abuse disguised as culture. Mm. Do you agree? To give us your view, you can call us at 070-806-68014. You could also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag here of TVC so we can read your tweet. Mm. All right, so we all grew up with one form of, <laughs> you know, uh, method where our parents seem to come across a hash. Although today many of us feel like we turned out good because, I mean, we turned out good because of it. Some others feel otherwise. In your view... <laughs> What do you think about home training in Africa? Is it abuse? Is it emotional abuse? Or do you think it's actual home training? <sighs> okay, let me agree and disagree. To some extent, I agree 100% that this is home training. And it's that, that, that area that is called culture, where they don't put a, a distinction between how to train a girl and a boy is where I have a problem. So the girl is made to wake up early in the morning, sweep the house while the boy is still napping, sweep and prepare everything. I had a problem with my parents making me do everything while my brother is waiting and then he starts to take his bath and drives out of the house while I'm still cooking. In the same car, we're supposed to go to school together. In That was a problem. But when you talk about scolding a child, I always say it on this couch. So I had an issue recently with my girl. And I felt that when she was supposed to have been beaten, she wasn't beaten. Now she's an adolescent, she thinks that she's above correction. She doesn't know her place. And there's this thing called place because when you're sorry, when you've been found, you've done something wrong and you're talking to an adult, someone old enough to give birth to you, right. there's, a, there's an but approach. Anyway, recent but I believe has, that. Yeah, recent research has shown that maybe um, that form of discipline is maybe not no longer appropriate in, oh, the, in our climate. Because definitely not. Because Still very, very relevant. Definitely to be spoken not. To. God bless you, Moriah, for going to the spoken to part. Larry uh, Ulushala has even broken it down, that there are different kinds of children. Some of them, they're touchy. Some of us is music yes. and things that we it's hear. Just, oh. I realized as a very young child, and I used to say it to my mother all the time, that beating me was not the solution. I became hardened. Say, hey, she beats just to beat me. But the one time my father would call me and tell me what I did wrong, I will understand and I will become remorseful, sometimes no, to the extent of crying. Thing. Right. There's a difference. So There's also verbal beating. abuse of children. When okay. you see somebody, almost, you know those kind of okay. things. We hear those things. Those are abuses that too. Me but, but you say that child was verbal. Okay, so the child was verbal. 
in some areas, in some states, my husband is going to be in the states, trust me, when you hear them talking, yeah. uh, there are some words that you are wondering, in too. what the heck is going the on The child here? grows up knowing that, knowing that is a cautionary word. It was word. a problem for me and my husband because to him it was normal for me. It was I totally abnormal. Okay. Yeah, well, for me, I love my mother a lot and I talk about her very much and I think she's the best mother in the world. But there are some things that she did that till today I think was emotional abuse. And it's taken me time to sort of forgive her for that. My mom has this sarcastic way of doing things where she says, you can't. It's an African bring, thing now. No, 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 but is it right? Bring a cup and you bring the cup. Then she says, put it on my head. Eh, hey, now. That's how she was raised. I know, but it was so, it was so traumatizing for me growing up, you know. So she would not say, put it on the table. I just did not know what to do. I was not born with instructions of what to do, you know, with her. I tried it on my what child one day. Wait. Hang it. I said, put it on my head. My child puts it on my oh, head. Oh, And I mean, I do, and I not blame that child. That's I mean, that is a yes. The <laughs> thing is, that you use the same thing, and you also put, you say, what? What did you just do? She knows. No, but the thing is, I tell the child, no, I put it on my head. This caution. Okay, Moriah, this is okay. Let me explain. While we're growing up, my father might be calling you that you're doing something wrong. He will call you twice, and he won't put a name and say, not you. The other in my language, and everybody will just the person that is guilty will now say, she they say not you. It's not me. It's not me. So maybe Jumaka did something wrong. I'll be like. Hey, you, bring that thing. Not you. Jumaka will now pretend that she didn't get the message. There's no way you don't get the message when the parents talk to you. It's our way of talking. It's called, it's called their body or whatever language body that language. you like to say. See, when a child is growing up, when, there are ways you train your child. When the child gets to that adolescent, they know your breaking point. They don't cross it. Okay, you point taken. Don't, don't okay, let them, they know it without you saying so much. Which school of parenting did you go to? Uh -huh. mm. The school of parenting of your own mm. parents. Yeah. A lot of us do not even realize that the programming that we got from childhood affected us negatively. Okay. We believe that uh, we are okay. For instance, circumcision. Because you don't want the child to be promiscuous, you damage her for life. No, 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 there are some circumcisions that you can never reverse. And the child will get married and never enjoy sex because you don't want her to be promiscuous. Like there are some things that you do not necessarily need to do for your child to turn out right. Speak to them, correct them. Even from inside the womb, I hear that babies listen. Okay. Yeah. So when you tell us I things. Agree with you. you see, but you see, in fairness, I have read, many of us have gone the same through, done them similar studies and understood what Larry Lucia and yes, others have told us. And I have tried to implement, I will not lie. I tell my child, I have a conversation with him, but sometimes it, it's until like it's bad that wiring. baby. No. When it's until I like spank that child, you know why? I get the you result. You know why I, I say it's your wiring? Because it's easier. For you to just spank her and she gets it, she's afraid. I talk she to her, but she somewhere. still messes up. Listen, I talk people, again, she people, still messes the up. The people who are teaching us to do the right thing, they say continually do it over and over again. Do you know why we get angry in marriages? Because we are impatient. Continue to talk to the child. They're not, it's mm -hmm. not a switch. They're not going to change okay, in one day. You, See, I understand what, where Mariah is coming from. And I've, I've always tried to do like the proper, what I think is the proper parent, right. where I talk to my child. And I noticed that we with my children, my son is better to talk to him. If you talk to him, he will remember that right. for a long time. Yes. If you hit him, you will not. But my little girl, right. mm -hmm. she, she needs a little spanking. Right. Because right. in her, if, the way I see her, she's sort of more in, aware of what is right and what is wrong, but she does it to test you right. and see how far you go. So I guess there are different methods, but I really do not, yes, but I really do not, I really do not agree that hitting a child, no, hitting a child is the right way to do. I agree it's also lazy parenting. It's so much easier for you to just hit your child, your okay. child shuts up and he's scared I, I and, and then you, you think you've dealt with him. Meanwhile, your child feels obsessed. I just, let me just extreme. finish this thing, let me finish this because I had my what really made me sad was one time you know my child came to me and said to me um I thought we were playing you know I had spoken to him we we're talking and then he said something and I scolded him he says mommy I thought you were playing sometimes you are nice sometimes you're not nice and because yeah, we were at, I was confusing this child we were talking but you know how the African thing is okay I was talking to you because I'm not your mate. Then you now said something. Instead of correcting him and saying, this is how you should do it next right. time, okay, you instead yes, show the person or shout at the person. Yes, it can be an abuse. Right. Like I said, I want to agree and disagree. But it's not an, a method I will, I will totally okay. throw out. Now, I remember my mother knowing when to spank me and when to talk to me. I, as a child, I was a very bold child. I was very careless about anybody's emotions. I could talk to any adult. So one woman abused me in the neighborhood, and I said to her, she called me Omoshi. I called her Yoshi. Hey, right back. 
No so one that your mouth is still loud. You'll be calling me a liar and be saying all sorts my of My mother came back things. and heard about it. She knew, yes, the woman had done something wrong to oh, me. But she needed that. to train her child. So she took me back to the woman's house and made me kneel that I don't do at home. So I apologize to the woman. My yes. mom used that to message that. I never forgot. Ever since then, even when I am angry and pushed through it, I am cautioned as to what I say so that I don't have yes, to I, I don't know how to apologize. I don't for something that I was right about. You still abuse so, us on this. Sometimes you pass the time. No, you. You are you trust me when I But do you know you another thing that we fail to even <laughs> understand is that the way you us treat one child is the messages. way that child would treat his sibling. That's it. There are times I've shouted the words I've said to my older son, he said to my younger child, because that is what I've taught him. And then there's a way I've handled him that he handles his younger one. So we need to be careful how we also oh, want them to treat each it. other. So I think we can Let's actually see. May I take, take some tweets? Uwana want. Joseph says, Jumoke, you don't talk to children, you beat them. Ah, That's ah. what they understand. Words are for adults. I'd just quickly like to disagree with Uwana. It's when you refuse to talk to them when they're children, children. you will now need to be beating them when they're adults. Okay. They actually no, listen. No, 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 I even say before too. I even say before too. There sometimes a, a child is going to a, a child is going towards fire. You want to see spanking sometimes is necessary. It's yeah, not like to go and beat them. Mm. Talking the same thing. Yes. Me, so, so, I believe that. By the time they can hear, right. and you you start to talk when they are babies. Right. Oh. Spanking is when you know that they've gone to the extreme, but you still keep on talking. Yeah. The reason I spanked you is because you do this, so exactly. they know what right. you're doing. Yes, because I spanked my child. Where's okay, Adeleke says I live in Aberdeen, and incidentally. I was called into my daughter's school yesterday that I spanked her, which was not so. I was surprising. I was surprised meeting the social worker and police already waiting for me. Cultural clash yes. is real. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. My son went to go and turn on the gas. The first time I told mm -hmm. him, don't. I did exactly what that revolution allowed us to do. Yeah. The next time you. <laughs> Just a few weeks back, he did, he did it exactly. Again. I didn't speak any English. I bought my Omar Rugu. Whoa. And I see one. He will never forget. He took him to that gas and I spanked him. He will so, never forget. Before, between zero to four years. Yes. Because zero after then. Yeah, after then. After then. They two understand to eight, you know. Before two years, you spank them, they just think you're abusing them. But you know, they don't get the message. But two to eight is worked. I've seen it work. Once they are past eight, that discussion, you start to have it. But well, keep on okay. talking. You keep yeah. on talking. They have to run off. Yeah. That's, let's go on a break. Now when we come back, <laughs> our guests will enlighten us on different options for birth control for men. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Yes, thanks for staying with us. So women have always been the focus of birth control. But in the recent times, male contraceptives, also known as male birth control, are now coming to the fore. As research has shown, the majority of men are seeking male contraceptives, but many are concerned about the side effects of hormonal injections. Joining us on the show is the professor of obstetrics and gynecology, Lagos State University College of Medicine, and the Chairman Governing Board of Institute of Fertility Medicine, Lasuth, Professor Adit Tokumo Faba. Welcome to the show, sir. Welcome, sir. Happy game, sir. So you can yeah, give us a view, 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect, please hashtag UFBTVC, so we can read your tweets. Before we go into milk uh, contraceptive, very quickly, what's your view on um, disciplinary, do you, uh, African disciplinary action? Do you believe it's, um, it's abuse, or do you agree that it's actual disciplinary action? Well, I think the way that our parents had shown discipline had been counterproductive. I, I do not believe in capital punishment, punishment like caning and so on and so forth. I believe that as soon as a child is able to understand issues, then you should explain why what they are doing is wrong. But if they persist, oh, spank their ass. Okay. Spank their ass. <laughs> All right, good to know. All right, so <laughs> going to male contraceptives, people yes. have been talking about it. I mean, recently, um, your view treated the topic just a couple yes. of weeks May ago. I quickly have yes. on that. Yes. Um, there was a man who had said to his wife that he only wanted three children, but he had three girls, and she was looking for a boy, and they went ahead to have five children. At the fifth one, he said to the gynecologist to take out the child alongside the womb. 
and we were like, sir, why didn't you do vasectomy, which is easier. So the discussion of vasectomy then arose. A lot of men are concerned, um, thinking is irreversible. would like you to explain a lot more about vasectomy and milk contraception generally. Okay, thank you. Let me just clarify a few things before we go on. I'd like to clarify the differences between contraception, sterilization, and family planning. Mm -hmm. Family planning is a concept. Okay, you want to space mm. uh, how you have children and then you want to limit the number of children. Okay. How you do it may be by contraception. Okay. And there are many contraceptive methods, mm. usually temporary. Mm. Okay, if you want to have a child, you can decide to have a child. Okay. But sterilization is permanent. Mm -hmm. okay. So vasectomy is a form of sterilization. Okay. It's permanent. Once you do it, that's it, but sometimes you can wish to reverse it. Mm -hmm. mm. But reversal success rates vary. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's it. So vasectomy in our culture is not well grounded. Mm. Why is yes. it well grounded? So, okay. Permanent. Why is it not? Yes. No, when you say well grounded, what do you mean by well grounded? Men are not doing it. Okay. We set up a vasectomy facility some years back. Um, as a matter of fact, some of us were sent abroad to Philippines to, to just learn the, the science of, uh, you know, office vasectomy, mm -hmm. because it's really it's an office procedure, mm -hmm. you know. And then we came back, we set up a unit in Ikeja, and in five years we had two clients. Yes, wow. <laughs> yes. So African men do not want to have vasectomy. Okay. So I thought vasectomy was just a situation whereby you just can't have kids. Not that you can't, the, 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 your organ can't be functional. Because people confuse that. But does it mean that I become virility yes, and yes. virility? And, 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 I mean, does it? No, vasectomy simply means that th there is a, a, that's a, like a tube mm -hmm. in the scrotum, right. you know, which is the vast difference which <clears throat> through which the sperm cells pass. Mm -hmm. So all you do is just to tie that tube. And um, so that sperm cells do not pass, pass uh, all right? But your other male functions remain. remain. You yeah. get an erection, you can have sexual intercourse. But a lot of men feel that once you have a sectomy, you're going to be castrated. Mm. You, you can't be Perform. potent again. Right. Cool. Okay. So, so this, thing, the, okay, this thing is not really, I think, an African thing. I was reading about it. I hear worldwide, most men do not think that option of vasectomy is what they would like to, to take. take. But <clears throat> could you just maybe use this opportunity to educate the men and say, like you've already said, maybe just further, that this would not stop you from being a man. Because I think men look at their ability to be able to... Um, May I buttress this be point? To, yes. yes, as being a man. May I buttress the point not, that they even say that after vasectomy, sex is even more enjoyable for men. Now yes, I cannot so impregnate any lady mm -hmm. and you are still as erect as before. Is that true, sir? First, let mm -hmm. me correct you. Okay. It's an African thing, okay. and I have statistics, okay? In Canada, the uptake of vasectomy uh, was 22% mm -hmm. over a 10-year period. Mm -hmm. In New Zealand, it was 21%. Mm -hmm. In the UK, it was 20%. Mm -hmm. In African countries, it's Zero. less than one. 0.7%, 0.4%, most African uh, countries right. that were studied. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's an African thing. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, the, the, the Caucasian tends to understand the issues right. mm -hmm. more than the, the, there's something in us Education. as Africans yeah, that, that will make us not really understand the issues. Now, back to this issue. Yes, there's no loss of potency in the sense of erection. But the, you lose your potency in the sense of getting a woman pregnant. Yes. So men need to understand that. Okay. But I think the issue is mainly cultural. Mm. Men feel that the responsibility mm. of limiting family size should be a woman's responsibility. Exactly. They, don't, they don't see why they should be burdened with right. the yeah, issue. Where I'm going. Yeah, we, they we don't mean, see that. On behalf of us, we are tired. We <laughs> 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 are burdened with the responsibility of Recently, a, a very close it. friend was, uh, came to my house and said, I don't know how, but I think I'm pregnant. So I gave her a PT test to do. And then she came back and said, it's positive. What am I going to do? She was crying. I was like, ah, 
You should be talking about this with your husband. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's two people that do the do. Uh -huh. Do you understand? But she was feeling so bored. We are tired. Honestly, I think it's when, time. What are the options of contrast, uh, of family planning other options. open to men? What are the other options open to men? Size and why are they not being explored? Size vasectomy. Apart from vasectomy, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say that it's really bad news about male contraceptives. <laughs> no wonder. A lot of research is going on. A lot of animal studies have been done. But the nearest we have come to another form of contraceptive is what the University of Washington Medical Center has come up with recently. They've now found an injection, mm. okay, which shows promise. Yeah. Okay, it's an injection that you can administer um, and uh, men over time w would no longer produce uh, sperm cells. Okay. Also, there are pills that can be used. All right, this research has been hampered by the fact that men insisted that they wanted something that they would just take once a day, mm. just like the female the pill. Female one, yeah. So, but recently, the University of Washington has been able to come up with a pill that you can take once a day. Okay. And then they've shown that uh, it, it's, it can be effective okay. in, in limiting sperm production. You see, the thing about developing drugs is that it has to go through a lot of stages. Yeah. You have to do animal studies first. first to check about the safety and so on before you can try it on human yeah. beings. Why okay. has it taken them so long though? I mean, we have gone so far with female contraception. You would think that we would have had back so years of, of, of study on the male. Is it just the patriarchy yes. thing? Go thing? You know, you just put everything on the woman. You ask her to take pills. You ask her to take out her womb. You ask her to cut off her tubes. No. And still the there's woman not woman one thing no, that the man no, can no, do. No, no, you see the male physiology is a bit different from female physiology. As I explained earlier, you know, when you administer hormones to a man, they tend to get cleared away from the system rapidly. And that's what has limited uh, successful research into male contraception. So what the University of Washington has been able to find out is that if they add a sort of fatty acid mm -hmm. to the hormone, yeah. it will delay the clearance of the hormone from the blood okay. of the man. Okay. So that's why they are now near to success mm. in that research. Okay. You know, so it's not that they've ignored, oh, the research has always been ongoing. Sorry. A lot of uh, pills have been developed, but side effects mm. has been the major issue. Sure. Side effects, and even this one, that they, they've started- Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about side effects of vasectomy and Oh, ah, since you are an OBGYN oh, and you've close. spoken to people and you've probably experienced families go through this issue, I'd like you to share a few experiences with them so that how families can manage this situation of birth control, especially in male. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So for those who probably live abroad, who understand or who might even have access to these pills, you know, I know mm. the, the pills are not probably available in this country. They're not yet. No, right. not yet. But are there any side effects? And even with the vasectomy, are there any side effects at all for men? Well, let me, let's talk about vasectomy. Okay. Mm. okay. Now, vasectomy, there are very few minor side effects after the procedure. Like I said, it's an office procedure. Mm. It takes just about 20 minutes. So you can have pain at the site because what you really do when you do a vasectomy is to make a little incision on the scrotum, okay. bring out that cord, cut it, and then tie it up. As simple as Lobato. that. So you can have a little bleeding, a little pain, you know, and in some cases, they've had what they call post vasectomy pain syndrome, mm -hmm. in which that pain will persist for long. Mm -hmm. But it's never more than that, okay? There's also a side effect of regret. Mm -hmm. Some men regret that they had done it. Mm -hmm. Why, because they want to have more children? Yes, because Later. they didn't think it through before they did it, right. or bef because they, they fell out with the wife they so had. We we and, uh, Let me take this call, sir. Okay. Good morning, are you there from Ikeja? Go ahead, please. Kanu, go ahead, please. Hello? Hello, go ahead, you're live, go ahead. 
Hello, good morning. Morning. Hello, good morning. We can hear you. Go ahead, please. I just want to contribute the uh, consigning treating the children. Okay, very quickly, please. I just want to say something about African, the way we should take care of. I'm s Hello? We can't hear. We can't hear you. Go on. No, you can't listen to your TV. It won't work. Okay. All right. So, um, go so going, um, I was going to focus on this discussion of men believing that it is the woman's duty. Oh, of course, there are many more contraceptive methods available to women. Mm -hmm. But there was a case of this man who said because his wife had breached their contract to have five children, he had the gynecologist remove her womb at the fifth um, CS, cesarean session. Is that legal? Should it be allowed? And in such a case, as a gynecologist yourself, um, what would you recommend? I don't know the details of the case. Okay. But if you said the woman was having a fifth caesarean section, there was absolutely no need to remove the womb. All we do is to tie the woman's tubes so that she won't be able to get pregnant again. Mm. I wonder, you know, I think the man must have been informed and he must have stampeded the doctor. Because a doctor right. should have explained to him that there's absolutely no need mm. to remove the womb. That okay. once you tie the fallopian tubes, the wife will not be able to get pregnant Let again. Let me take this call from Ike. Ike, are you there? Yeah. Uh, Thanks for calling. You? Go ahead, please. Yes. I want to contribute to what you are saying. Go ahead. The issue of uh, the thought of the, the man there and any other woman there should know the importance of the reason of farm inside a woman by a man during intercourse. That's the most weakest part of it. And when you stop it, the value of that will not be noticed by the man. That's the main reason men doesn't want to involve Let me take you with 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 it. 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 Let of the season of the no, but they do not know that no, sperm is uh, the one that fertilizes the egg. Yes. Let me, let me. That is, that's what is called semen. Mm -hmm. That is the total fluid that comes out. Mm -hmm. It's only the cells that are going to be stopped from joining the fluid. The fluid still comes out, so you still have an orgasm. Right. You still enjoy sex, right. but the cells don't join it, and so there's now, no pregnancy. Now, going to the issue of semen, is there is there an, is there an option in Nigeria? for men to freeze their sperm. So just in case they do have a vasectomy, Thank they can you. keep that somewhere. Excellent. And in future, they Excellent can then have... Excellent question. In fact, the big thing now abroad is what we call cryopreservation mm -hmm. before vasectomy. Okay. So that in case you decide thereafter to have children, then you can just go pick up your sperm cell and do an, an, an a, IVF. A, IVF or IUI interuterine insemination. Yeah, that sounds, that then, was the cost implication. No, Someone that, is asking yeah, me. Just going three questions. There. I mean, Let me take just three questions. Baba Wale says, please, what can we do to cure premature ejaculation because it's affecting me? Premium Home says, morning, please can the amiable mm -hmm. professor give us the cost implication for birth control? Exactly. And the last one, Ade says, please, can you ask the guest, after vexectomy, can a man still attain climax? You already answered Mr. that Bird. one. Yeah. Okay, so, so, um, so no, no. Well, we should leave premature ejaculation. Yes, I actually, I want to leave that. That's <laughs> an, a different issue. Cost implication. Most family planning clinics, they, they they come at very cheap rates. The cost implication of a vasectomy cannot be more than two thousand naira. What? Wow. Yes. No. What? Yes, vasectomy. Is it 20 Public minutes? hospital or private? Is it 20 minutes? Minute minute procedure? Even private, what about that 5,000? Ah, okay. What chances so, are there? Oh because of, no, 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 so because cheap. you know, you brought it into question. Now, because maybe because it's so cheap, some doctors might think the simple procedure and more mistakes might happen. Because no. you know, you mentioned the side effects of pain post the procedure. Yeah, but just a few days yeah, please. I not think. Who are the controls that are it? Can I say that? I mean, yeah. I mean can we even compare it to what the woman has to go through? Nurses! Yeah. 
trained nurses, the carrier of vasectomies. And a woman's yeah. womb was removed. Ah, and on this matter. You know, I know what is very exciting about matter. this. You can actually be awake while this is going on. Oh, so you are, you are chatting on your phone you and you are talking awake. and it's this is happening. local anesthesia. We have suffered. <laughs> local ah, anesthesia. Where is that? You run up with this woman on your so I think we should make an appeal to yes. men yes. that they should understand that vasectomy is not the only way, but, but it's an adjunct mm. to contraception because the issue of population explosion is real yes. in mm -hmm. our country. And sir, many contraceptives makes us fat. I hear. Pills and, well, we don't, we don't, pills, pills make us turn us to something I mean, else. We don't want to so rather the husband do something true. about the matter. After four children, what are you waiting for, sir? Just 15 minutes, 2,000 naira, freeze your head just in case you want to do it later in and life. And we're good to go. And everybody's okay. In fact, I'm making a call. Let's go and <laughs> <I'm going home. laughs> Thank you so much, Sam. It was a pleasure having you here. Uh, High five. That's all thank we you. can take on this thank show. You. Join thank us you. tomorrow for our live audience show. Come early so you can get a seat. Have a fabulous day. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.